Hey friends, welcome to this week's episode of Feminist Fridays. Today we are trying a middle part. I don't think I did it right. Not sure how I feel about it. It's a little controversial, but we're just gonna see how it goes. So this week was wild in terms of news. I'm sure most of you have heard about this because I went out to a bar the other night and it was on all of the TVs, but Roseanne was canceled for being super racist. Let's just insert footage of me trying to be shocked. So let's get into what happened here. Roseanne was on Twitter and she released a controversial tweet. And if you're familiar with Roseanne's Twitter at all, you'll know is a mistake. Why is it that people that really should be on Twitter the least uh, are on Twitter the most? You know, it's a sad state of society when this could be about multiple people, and it is. So in this tweet, oh, which I think has been deleted, Roseanne referred to Obama's former White House advisor, Valerie Jarrett, as if the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby. So... Of course, you know, we had to bring in the Islamophobia, which I talked about in my previous Roseanne video that got a lot of people saying that Roseanne wasn't racist, but boy, were you all wrong. ABC responded swiftly to Roseanne's racist comments, which is unusual, saying, Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel her show. There's a really great tweet that I saw in response to this that said, ABC fires Roseanne, says she crossed the line from being racist enough to have a TV show to slightly too racist to have a TV show. There was also another really good tweet, which I don't know how to find anymore, that said, to be fair, it's probably confusing for Roseanne to understand the difference between racism that gets you fired and racism that gets you elected president of the United States. Oh, we're living in hell. What? I think one of my favorite things about this whole situation is that after Roseanne tried to blame her racist tweet on taking Ambien, the maker of Ambien responded saying that racism is not a side effect of taking Ambien. <laughs> Just amazing. Conservatives who are outraged at the cancellation of Roseanne responded by trying to come after Bill Maher. And my response to this is, Please do. What's confusing about conservatives calling out Bill Maher is that instead of choosing to target him for actual things that he's done that were fucked up, like using the n-word on air and his history of racist and Islamophobic remarks, no, instead they're coming for him because one time he referred to Donald Trump as an orangutan. I mean, sure, I guess if we all close our eyes, pretend racism doesn't exist, and act like we're colorblind, then sure, that's the same thing. But if you think about it for more than two seconds and consider the long history of ape, gorilla, etc. being used as racial slurs against black people, then it's they're become clearly very different things. In related news, talk show host Samantha Bee, who was known for her late night show Full Frontal, came under fire for remarks she made about Ivanka Trump. I can't say that I watch her show regularly, but the episodes I've seen are, I thought were really funny and just super on the nose politically. Here's some background on the Samantha Bee segment that came under fire. Samantha Bee was pointing out the fact that the US government is complicit in massive human rights violations against immigrant families. News recently broke that the US Department of Health and Human Services lost track of 1,500 immigrant children who they were responsible for placing in foster care and with sponsors. But it has confirmed that some of them have been trafficked, which is absolutely horrid and more people should be upset about this. Also, a story recently came out about a trans Honduran woman named Roxana Hernandez who was detained by ICE and later died in custody. Hernandez had spoken about the violence she was fleeing in her country, she said that trans people in her neighborhood were murdered just for being trans. The reason she died in US custody is because she had previously been sexually assaulted by MS-13 gang members who gave her HIV. While in the ICE detention center, she was refused medical treatment and died from HIV complications, which is fucking horrible and I just, I don't have words for this. These are massive human rights violations and the fact that the US president is more concerned with Roseanne being fired for being incredibly racist and is detracting from the situation and derailing and trying to get our attention elsewhere is so transparent and just very fashy, let's be real. So essentially, Samantha B was shedding light on these issues and in response to basically an oblivious photo posted from Ivanka Trump with her and her child, Samantha B's point was that 
families are being teared apart, but sure, post a beautiful picture on Instagram. So yeah, truth be told, she shouldn't have said that. It's probably not great to be referring to other women as cunts on national television. However, I do have trouble giving a single fuck when Ivanka's father had said much worse things about women and has multiple sexual assault allegations against him. I'm sorry, but I just really struggle to care about this rich, blonde woman who is complicit in massive human rights violations. I really struggle to care when the reality and the bigger picture is that there are women of color and immigrants in general whose families are being torn apart and they are just trying to find a safe space when they are fleeing violence in their countries and our government is inflicting more violence on them. I'm sorry, but I don't care about Samantha B calling Ivanka a cunt. I'm, I'm sorry, she shouldn't have said it, but Ugh. It is just ridiculously hypocritical that Trump and his supporters choose to ignore sexism and misogyny on their side, but when it's convenient to them, uh, when they can use it to boost their own argument and slander liberals, then they're suddenly gonna care about sexism, but only against certain types of women, only against people that look like Ivanka Trump. But God forbid we care about women of color and immigrant women who are just trying to find refuge. It is just so transparent to me when people are only capable about caring about certain types of women. I don't have a good end message for this, but honestly, fuck the United States. Fuck our politicians. Fuck Trump supporters. Fuck you all. Thank you for watching this video. If you uh, enjoyed it, probably not, but if you learned something, please consider donating to my Patreon page, which will be linked below. There's a lot of cool perks, such as exclusive updates, bonus videos, and even a monthly feminist book club. So definitely check it out.